Welcome to STEM Club. We've got another brilliant experiment for you to try at home today, and it's really simple. Woo! In previous videos, we've been looking at polymers, and today we're gonna to be making our own polymer or plastic. A plastic is made from a polymer, and a polymer is a big long chain of molecules. Plastics can often be soft to start with, and then you can mold them into the shape you like, and then they can harden up. If you look around your home now, you might be able to find lots of plastic. And the plastic we're going to make today is using milk, so it's really simple to do. All you need is some milk and white vinegar. You'll also need a pan and a jug, and then also some cloth. So I've got a wet wipe here, but you could use some linen or just a simple cloth over a sieve and a bowl. You could also get some molds as well. So you can use different molds to mold your plastic at the end too. The first thing you need to do is pour some milk in your pan and then heat it up on the hob. Using about 300 millilitres of milk, heat it up to around 70 degrees C. So it's very warm, but it's not boiling yet. Here is our warm milk now. So we've heated it up and you can see it's steaming away. And what you want to do next is just carefully pour it into a jug. So I'm gonna pour it into my jug. Oh. Once you've heated your milk up and put it in a jug, you want to add two to three teaspoons of vinegar. And you'll see as you stir it, it start to clump together. So you might be able to feel that happening as you're stirring it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so weird already. I can see it forming. Once you've stirred in your vinegar, you then want to have your bowl with your sieve and cloth set up and you're going to pour this through so we can then collect all of the lovely polymer plastic we have made. So just carefully pour it all through. Mine has already oh, <laughs> made a big lump there. Leave this to cool for a while because it's still quite warm. This is your polymer plastic made from milk. So all the KC molecules are now polymers and they have now made this wonderful substance that you can use to do what you like with. Now, if we squeeze it, you can squeeze all the excess juice out. And then this is your amazing plastic dough. Look at that, it's incredible. So, and it was so simple and easy to make and it's really cool. It's really, it's just, it's very squishy, but you have a feel too, what does it feel like? So if you've got some molds like cookie cutters and things at home, you can mold this into your molds and then leave it to dry into some hard plastics. So I've got a ball mold that we had from a different science kit. So I'm gonna put some of this in this one. This is amazing. Leave any moulds to dry for at least a day or two, and then you can see what they're like afterwards. I've also got an, another shape mould, so I'm gonna put a bit more in there as well. And then again, leave those. To... If you'd like to do a sensory um, experience just with younger children, this is just really fun substance to play with as well. That is our amazing plastic, super easy and really fun. So I hope you get to try this out at home. And here are our plastics once they have dried. And if you look at these, you can paint them and you can make them all sorts of models with them as well. So this is amazing. And then you can try doing different tests on them. So this is quite a bouncy ball we have made here. This is so bouncy, it's really cool. Oh, you so need to try this. Oh. And I've made a lovely S, so I'll have to see if I can do all the letters for science now as well. And you can see how strong they are. So there are all sorts of tests you can do on your plastic once you've made them too. So this is such a brilliant science experiment. It's just brilliant. Whee! So the science behind this is there are proteins in the milk called casein. 
This is dispersed throughout the milk in what we call a colloid. When you add the acid, the protein can no longer stay in that colloid, so it starts to clump together in these big long polymers, and then we can see it and play with it. To make this a full science investigation, you always want to change one thing and measure one thing. So think about something you could change in our experiment and something you could measure. For example, you could try different types of milk and then seeing which one made the bounciest ball. Or you could try different amounts of vinegar and seeing how hard the plastic is you make. There's so much science you can investigate and learn and discover with this investigation. What's also really cool about this experiment is we've made plastic from milk rather than crude oil, which most plastics are made from. So it's more biodegradable. You could try testing this out by burying it in the ground and leaving some of your plastic for a month and seeing what happens when you dig it up again. But the world is having a plastic crisis and could this be the answer? Don't forget to share what you've been up to as we love seeing all of your home science investigations and learning so much from them as well. You can share what you've been up to on our Facebook group, which you can find in the link below. And we'll see you next time for more STEM fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>